developer Flavio. Flavio is working in a multinational company as a UI5 developer. So this is my developer, his name is Flavio. Flavio is a UI5 consultant or a Fury developer, you can call it Fury developer, working in a multinational company on a project. What are the main responsibility of Flavio? The main responsibility of Flavio is to build UI5 applications, create them with the best practices which we learned in this training, understand the user experience, user demand, and then finally implement them into the system, do the connectivity with backend, and test the application and build and deploy this into SAP ABAP system using any tool like VS Code. So maybe let's say Flavio is using VS Code like we are using. So this is what Flavio is doing. So let's say VS Code is the tool which he is using to build Fury apps. And now meet another developer. Her name is Ruxana. Ruxana is another Fury developer working with Flavio. She is also developing Fury application in the same team as a co-developer with Flavio. But Flavio is sitting in Germany, Ruxana is sitting in UAE. They both are sitting at two different locations. However, they are always in touch through the communications because they are working in the same team. Ruxana is using uh, the Business Application Studio tool, the BAS, into SAP BTP. And she is also developing on the same project. The challenge here is both of them work on a different time zone and both of them wants to sync their code with each other. Now it is uh, easy if you have just one or two developer it's fine that you keep the code in local and keep sending each other the zip file and update that. But at any given point of time there is a high risk of code being overwritten and which is what also truly will happen if it becomes too messy when there are too many files, it is hard to merge the code manually as a human. At the same time, they want a local version management in their respective development tool. And that's where the Git comes into picture. So what they do, both do is they will have a local repository in their local development tool. So whenever they initialize a Git, so first of all, they have to run a command called Git init which initialize a local repository. Let's call Flavio's repository as plugit and let's call Roxana's repository as Roxkit. So basically what happened is the moment they, the first thing which they do is they run a command called git init. This command will initialize a empty git repository in their local computer, which means they now get a local version management. Let's say Flavio decides now I now it's at the end of the day and I am happy with a change which I did today. Everything is stable in my software. What Flavio now does, she wants to create a save point. See, he wants to create a save point. This save point, we call it as commit. So what Flavio now does, he performs a commit to the Git repository. When he performs a commit, to the git repository it's called git commit as a result of that the changes what he has done today as of now in the software will be stored in a repository management system which is a local git repository next day morning he come he start work on the project again he messed up something and now he decides to go back to the last table state last night he can always go and say hey VS Code tool, I would like to replace my changes so he can do a Git reset. The same applies to Ruxana. She also wants to follow the same development process on regular day basis so that she will have all the changes time to time saved into the Git repository for any mishappening. Yes, this is what our thought process of Git was. Yes, now Let's say Flavio makes one more change in the afternoon and now his software is again stable. So he will create a, another commit to make his changes stable, to keep a save point, to create a save point like this. 
and then in the evening as usual before he leave the office he got one more stable change his software is functioning pretty well at night and he make also one more commit so like this you can see there are multiple commits let me put different colors because they are actually different from each other so they are move, moving their code changes into the git but similarly ruxana also does now one question the changes which flavio is doing in his local vs code and local git repository will it be available to ruxana out of the box automatically no why because the git is local it is locally running in their computers or in the development tool associated to development tool yes so one git for ruxana is running on btp with bash one git is running in local computer for flavio in local machine now how does these two will synchronize their changes by the way the set of commits what you see here these are called commits so they are all called commits commits and these are the commits what you see on the screen and these commits what you see makes a branch so set of commit makes a branch you can see it is eventually becoming a branch so you will have a branch you can also have multiple branch we are not going into that complexity right now but let's understand this is a branch usually the default branch name is either called master or called main one of these branch names you will use either called master or called main branch that's what you call it okay now what happens is this is our complete setup vs code yes so similarly she also is making changes and it's all going into her local repository she will also have git commit to have a local stable state yes and she will also do perhaps the set of commits to stabilize her code but this is completely local version management then comes is the concept of sharing the code between multiple developers and that's where we go to internet and on the internet we create now a git hub repository by the way this is called local repository what you see here these are called local repository local repository means it's in my local system other developers cannot see i am just doing a version management in my local machine now comes is remote repository which is on the internet which is common for everybody so all the changes which you do in local machine are called commits when you are happy and you want to share your code with fellow developers you will eventually do a push so now flavio does a push to remote repository to remote branch of course remote also will have a branch this branch is common for all developers and the branch which you see here will be uh, local to a developer so if you you will also have a branch here and this branch will be sorry one second so you will have also a branch here and this branch is common for all developer but this branch which you see is local for all developer so flavio does a push and now ruxana wants to know what flavio is doing so she will now do a pull from remote repository when she does a pull from remote repository eventually she will get all the changes done by flavio now while doing the pull of course she realized that she has a local change which is kind of conflicting with the change done by fellow developer she has to resolve the conflict in order to push her changes back to the remote repository yes so she will resolve the conflict if there are if there are and if there are no conflict no problem she can push also so flavio can do a pull to see the changes so i hope this diagram explains everything about the basic working of git of course git is really big now you may say anubhav the conflicts are very often they tend to come very often not really guys if you organize your team so well 
and give responsibility to each developer properly you will have less chances of of having conflict it's unlikely the conflict will come yes or it's let's say 10 percent it will not come how in a team in a big project you have different files main controller master controller detail controller right you have so many views yeah each of the developers should be given a responsibility to work on a certain part of the software like i give flavio the work on master pages alone and routing and i will give work on ruxana to work on let's say detail view along with add view and add controller and base controller so obviously they are making changes to different different files and as a result of that what you would see a never conflict situation because none of the common files were touched even the common files are touched my friends it doesn't matter the next day so let's look at the solution of that issue anyway we have seen the problem so now roxana will log in and she will try to do a git push and she gets an error from the git uh, that from 13th of august the password based authentication for the git has been cancelled so what's the solution so what you do is now you go to bass create a another dev space in the business application studio and launch this particular dev space here this particular dev space is where we will again check out our project okay we will again check out our project fresh and then we will try to push uh, as if uh, our second developer Ruxana would do so I'll come back here and now I'm in the git yes and let me also open our git repository which we have seen yesterday so we had our git repository here on github yes and now let's say Ruxana wants to start the git development so we will create a new uh, new business application studio dev space and now we come here we click on copy of this url and let's git clone enter and you see the clone is done and i can go to cd space fury like app august and you can see all of our files are over here so now what i'm going to do is i will treat myself as roxana she's a second developer and she will now going to make a change and going to push that change yeah so let's go back as our first developer our first developer here is uh, flavio so now flavio makes a change so let's say flavio goes there and i'll say all products and flavio makes a push to the git so now you see flavio is making some change okay he has to do git pull first because there's already a change in the git and now flavio does a push so you saw first I pull from Roxana's ID and now I push one change from Flavio's ID. So when Roxana pulled the changes, the Flavio's changes were not there. So now if you go back to the Git and you will see my uh, Flavio's changes are here. Yes, they are here 23 seconds ago. And if you come back and here now, you would like to make a change from Roxana's side and try to push. Let's see what happens. So she goes and she makes the change, let's say, to the same view, which is view one. So in the view one, if I go back, you can see I don't have Flavio's change. Flavio changed it to all products. I don't have that change because I didn't do a pull. Uh, without knowing or without having information that a developer has pushed some changes, let's say she goes and she starts making some change. So she will go there and now she maybe add a new button. and let's say on new and i say home text roxana button yeah so she put, puts a new button and if you see in the same view one flavio has already made a change correct so now she tries to push her change to the git of course this will get rejected because there is a change which was done on the same file or in the same project by another developer while she was unaware and she was making her change yeah so if you try to push it will fail but first of all let's also see the solution of the problem which we saw the other day where it says 13th august onwards 
GitHub has disabled the password-based authentication. How do we solve it? So we just create a new dev space in the GitHub, uh, in the Business Application Studio, and now we'll do a push. So let's just say git add dot git push or git commit. First, we'll do a commit to the local branch, and we'll say Roxana changes. Enter. It's committed to local branch, which means I have a local version control. That's okay, fine, very good. Now I will do a git push here and it will prompt me for a new user ID and password. Exactly. That's the benefit of creating new dev space. So we do a git push and I will enter and you see it is asking me to enter my git username now. Wow. So I will enter Sam UI 5. That's Ruxana's ID. Enter. And here instead of your password, you have to enter token. Don't enter password. It will not take the password. Okay. You can try that. I'll just first enter the password to show you the same error. So enter and you see this is the error you get support for password authentication has been disabled to solve this error as a developer. What you need to do you need to go back to your Git account. So I'm able to log in now. Let's go to the user settings. Developer setting personal access token and we generate a new token. Click on that. You can say all access and it just used no expiration. Just select everything. This is equivalent to your password giving you the full access. You can also control the access of what is that this token is allowed to do and generate a token. And now the token is created. Let's copy that. And now let's switch over back to the business application studio and once again try a git push. So it again asked me username passwords. I'll put my git user ID and this time I paste my token. Press enter and yes. Now you see my push failed. At least it did a different error. The first error was support for password authentication now that error is resolved because of token but since there is a change done by another developer flavio into the github my branch is behind the branch of of what is in the github on the remote repository hence my change was rejected so i have to first do git pull and the moment i do git pull watch out you remember flavio has made a change to the title that change will get merged automatically with my change i press enter so there are no conflicts. Let me save the file again and try to commit the file. So git commit dash m merge changes. Yes, and now yes, I've committed and let me do a git push. And there you go, it worked. So what I just did was I did a again commit. So it automatically added my changes, added Flavio's changes here. And then I had my changes, Ruxana's changes also added here. And then I just did a git commit, say merge changes, and then we did a git push. And you see, since this time we gave a token, it has pushed my changes. So if you go back to the GitHub, to your repository, yes, you would see that we will find here the change merge changes. It's accepted by system. Yes, and that is how the changes got merged of both the developers provided you make the change on the same file or a different file doesn't matter this is how you can do the merge system will automatically do the merge here and you will see other developers changes and your changes okay so this is how exactly we can work with github in the system and we also solve the problem of having this password based authentication